So our first award presenter tonight is uh, Sherry Frechette. Sherry is uh, one of our knights. Uh, she's our, like a first vice president. She's kind of like going to be our exalted ruler next year. But right now, she's uh, our leading knight, and she is also the chairman for our drug awareness program and our, our Americanism program. So with that, here's Sherry Frechette. Hello everyone, congratulations on all your wonderful accomplishments this year. Um, the Drug Awareness Program aims to combat youth substance abuse through education, to make students aware of the dangers of drugs and learn about ways of handling peer pressure. We encourage students to think about what it means to be drug free through our four <clears throat> annual contests. They can express their feelings about drug abuse, peer pressure, and bullying. This year's theme was The Better Me is Drug Free. Here tonight is our first place winners, and some are also state winners, that just were um, up in Auburn being recognized for their accomplishments there. We'll start with the coloring contest. I'm not sure she's here, but it's Nakaya Owen, third grade, Sanford Christian Academy. Um, and Leo Marcinkowski, third grade, Pride Elementary. And Jackson Stokes, fourth grade, Lebanon Elementary. You come closer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do this, mommy, I'll get uh, on daddy. <laughs> So for anybody who wants a picture taken while they're up here, please take your time. We, we got plenty of time to do that. So parents, come on up and you know take all the pictures you want. Or we can do For our essay contest, Addison Gendro, eighth grade, St. Thomas. Abuse is a very serious thing. Thousands of people die every year from overdoses. The problem is once they get addicted, they can't fight the urge to use, to use drugs. Millions of people suffer from this problem. Addiction runs in my family, and my mom once told me it takes someone who is mentally strong to be able to fight it. It can be very hard for people who grow up in an environment full of drug use or to see, see it on the street, to fight the urge, especially if they are in a dark place in their life. It's easier said than done, but it's important to try to get ahead of it. If you know addiction runs in your family, surround yourself with people who can help you if you do lose your way, 
or try to get help even if you feel the slightest urge. It is not shameful to know or admit you need help. Drugs don't only affect the, the person using them, but it also affects the people around them. If parents are using them, and it, it, them, it can affect their kid's childhood, such as how they're raised and how that will affect them later on in life. Some people could end up like their parents and fall down the rabbit hole, and others make the decision not to become like their parents and to make something of themselves. These are some of the reasons why the better me is drug free. Now, Daniel or E.J. Gilmet, sixth grade, St. Thomas. Drugs can affect many people's lives in many different ways. They can kill you, lead you to kill yourself, and even get others addicted along with you. Some ways they can do these things are by causing you to think differently, making you do things you wouldn't normally do. Drugs often lead people to kill themselves, others, and they can even kill you without anything harming you. Even when you're recovering, it can be hard to stop the addiction, and sometimes people will stop and still die because of the drugs they used to take. It's important to not take them to keep yourself and others safe. People who take them often take years to recover from their previous mistakes. If parents do drugs, that will cause their kids to have a hard time growing up because they'll no longer get the support they need. Sometimes the children will even find their parents' drugs and get addicted. If people use drugs while they're pregnant, it can cause serious harm to the baby, even causing death. If you know someone who does drugs, you should alert local authorities immediately. In conclusion, drugs will wither your health, relationships, and even a person's childhood. You should avoid them as much as possible, even if someone offers them to you. No matter how much they tempt you, always say no. Just think, the better me is drug free. Now we have two essays. The first essay is a group of three students Joshua Fogarty, Adeline Fraser, and Allison Horton, sixth grade. Videos. video is from Brody Toto, 5th grade, Line Elementary School. the Americanism essay contest. It's a 300 word essay contest with two divisions. The essays give students the opportunity to think about the, and express their views on their love of country and patriotism. This year's theme was what does it mean to love your country? Division one was <clears throat> Akina Vivian, fifth grade, Alfred Elementary. I'm not sure if she's here. And 
And Division Two is Kira Lebrun, eighth grade, Massabesic Middle School. those we have fought to protect it and is a reminder of the sacrifice of our nation's founders and heroes. As the ultimate icon of America's storied history, the stars and stripes represent the best, the very best of this nation, said by Joe Spartan. To be honest, I'm not sure what loving my country completely means. Love is a feeling and an action, so it can mean many things. Patriots are people that passionately love their country, so they sacrifice for it. They give time and effort to improve the nation. Many even go to the extent of joining the armed forces and sacrificing their, their lives to ensure that their country be becomes a better place. There are so many things that we take for granted. The fact that we don't have to wake up and worry about a controlling government or getting invaded by tyrannic countries is such a big deal, but many people don't even think about it. Loving your country means that you take into account that we have freedom and are thankful. It means that you appreciate the people fighting for your, for your and millions of others' safety. Loving your country can mean that you look out for the nature in it. People work together to lower the percent of the pollution they clear out trash from the oceans and on land. There is recycling and reusing to lower the amount of trash. Solar power and eco-friendly energy sources also help the environment. In conclusion, I believe that loving your country had endless def definitions. It's all about how you view it. Not taking things for granted, looking out for the environment and people, supporting the service, and voting to improve your country are all ways that you are showing your love for your country. This subject of freedom has made me more aware than ever that even as a 13-year-old, I need to actively find ways to love my country and do my part to make it a better place. America's greatest comp contribution to the world is its concept of democracy, its concept of freedom, Freedom of action, freedom of speech, and freedom of thought, said by Charlie Dent. <laughs> 